Let them dip those sweets into a stream of smooth, rich chocolate with the chocolate extruder. Explore the efficiency of the Mince Extruder, a machine that brings a new level of creativity to food production. It skillfully turns meat into wavy noodles and then arranges them into neat round and square shapes. Placing the cabbages onto each mold, I must say something challenging is coming ahead. Machines like these are specialized to hold the hard vegetables firmly so they can remove the unnecessary part from the worthy one. They cut the cabbages into halves so they can easily remove the hard core and the rest would be easily chopped later. Just bake these sweets. Now, they are preparing them for packaging. Don't worry, it's gonna be fun. As soon as the bunch of specific counts of these cakes, they are conveyed to the further belts so within that process, they could get time for cooling down before they reach for packaging. And the magic is about to happen. You can see within nanoseconds, all of these cakes will be packed and sealed, all thanks to these marvelous mechanical creations. They need an eagle eye to find the distorted or bad seashell from this bunch. It's a whole new belt that receives and pre-washes the shells with a continuous strategy that separates and extracts the debris. The machine gently squeezes and rolls it like playing with Play-Doh and out pops dough balls. All the same size and perfectly round. It's super fast and makes every ball look the same. No more funny shaped rolls or bread. This makes the candy mass fluffy and smooth, means stretching and folding it repeatedly to make it more elastic and glossy. This splash of beautiful coloring gonna make sure the foam sack created will be that glowy and smoothly blended. It will enhance the overall appearance of the heavier foam sheets. Just take a look at it. The fish deadening machine is a machine that extracts the fish meat from the bones and the skin. It has a conveyor belt that moves the fish to a deadening chamber where a screw press separates the meat from the bones and the skin. They are gonna use this cherry pitting machine to remove the seeds from the cherries without damaging the flesh. It has a conveyor belt that moves the cherries to a pitting chamber where a needle pierces the cherry and pushes out the seed. After they add the scoring pad to the sponges, they have to pack them and store them in a proper way. The veggies are transported to a washing station where they are sprayed with clean cold water. Cold water keeps the veggies crisp and vibrant. The water also helps to remove any dirt, insects or other residues from the veggies.
The fish that has been cleaned, scaled, and deboned is placed on a tray and fed into the machine. The machine has a set of blades that are arranged in an upper and a lower group. A waffle lollipop making machine is a machine that can make waffles on a stick, also known as lolly waffles or cake pops. The mold also has holes for the skewers, which are inserted into the batter. Donut glazing machine is a machine that can apply a thin and even layer of glaze on donuts, making them shiny, sweet, and irresistible. The tube filling machine has a nozzle that fills the tubes with the right amount of face wash from a tank. Kneading helps to incorporate air, flavor, and color into the candy. It also prevents the formation of large sugar crystals, which would make the candy grainy. Then the candy is cut into pieces using a cutter and there are a lot of them. Blades can be adjusted to cut the pasta sheets into different widths and lengths, depending on the type of pasta. The fruits are transported to a sorting line where they are inspected and graded by optical sensors and cameras. Then all of the fruit goes through the blades to cut them into chunks. The sorting line can detect the size, shape, color and quality of the fruits and separate them into different categories. The chunky syrup is a thick and sweet liquid that contains pieces of fruits. The chunky syrup is poured into pouches, where they are sealed and labeled. The paper is loaded into the machine, either manually or automatically. The machine has a clamp that holds the paper firmly in place. The steel bottles are cleaned and dried to remove any dirt oil or dust, then they are sprayed with a thin layer of primer which helps the coating to stick to the metal. Next, the steel bottles are sprayed with a colored coating, which can be any shade or hue that the customer wants. The extruder has a nozzle that extrudes the ice cream mix onto a conveyor belt. Then, the ice cream sheets are cut into pieces by a cutting machine. The cutting machine has a set of blades that can slice the ice cream sheets into different widths and lengths, depending on the desired shapes. The conveyor belt moves the ice cream sheets to a freezing tunnel where they are hardened by cold air.
It's amazing. Now you know how much skill and technology goes into making your favorite ice cream packages. The baby spinach is harvested by a spinach harvester, which is a machine that can cut, collect, and transport the baby spinach. The spinach harvester has a cutter bar that moves along the ground and cuts the baby spinach at the base. Laser crafting requires a special machine that can generate and control a laser beam. The machine also has software that can create and edit the design. The hot dogs are fed into a cutting machine, which can cut them into different lengths and diameters, depending on the customer's specifications. The cutting machine has a set of blades that can rotate and move up and down, cutting the hot dogs with precision and speed. This is a process that makes it easy and convenient to enjoy pomegranates. It involves packing the pomegranate arrows, which are the edible seeds, in plastic molds that have the shape of the fruit. The plastic molds protect the arrows from damage and contamination and keep them fresh and tasty. Thanks to this awesome machine, we get our favorite candies in perfect little bites. It's quick, it's neat, and it's super clever. It's like the machine has a magic wand, but really, it's a nozzle, and it goes over each cup, pouring just the right amount of cream. That's a wrap for today, but if you want to watch more videos like these, you can find us here.